and welcome back to mom's channel today i'm going to go through all of these beginner machines that i've been working with personally i know a lot of you are wanting to get a beginner machine either for yourself or to gift to someone else so i thought maybe i could walk you through and tell you what i like and don't like about each one and that might help you make your decision a little bit uh, my disclaimer is i'm not a professional machine person i'm not a professional sewer seamstress i'm a professional math teacher so <laughs> that's where i come from i just do this for a hobby and none of these machines were uh, given to me so i don't uh, this is a totally objective review so let's get started um, the first one that I have is this little brother LX3817 that I got for $76 at Walmart. And I will drop links down below where I got these. Um, the prices and the supply is very fluid on these right now. So, you know, if the link doesn't work, just Google the model number and that should pull up several places where you can get those. But anywho, I got this one from Walmart. It has three different colors, blue and white. And then there's a gray one now with a different kind of pattern on it. But it's, it's the same machine. This comes with four feet. Um, a zigzag, a button foot, a button hole foot, and a zipper foot. It weighs in at 11.35 pounds. And it comes with 17 different stitches on the dial here this is a mechanical now what i like about it is it's very cute <laughs> i love the way it looks sitting on the table um, it's pretty quiet and when i get finished i'm going to hit the pedal on each machine so you can hear the noise level you know and compare each one but i'm gonna do that at the end so we can do it just one right after the other it's inexpensive i like that because when you're getting started sewing you don't want to shell out five or six hundred dollars on a machine that you don't even know you like so the price point is excellent for somebody getting started what i don't like um for some reason mine and like i said i've only had this one machine but i have had a couple of people mention it did the same thing the bobbin winds heavy on the bottom of the spool um not a big deal i just i've gotten used to having a nice tight level bobbin so that's what i like but all you have to do is kind of adjust the thread as it's winding so that's not a deal breaker i don't like that the thread spool is vertical i like a horizontal strip thread spool and that's one that goes out to the side the reason i like that is because the thread that i like to use and I've mentioned this before. The thread that I like to use mostly is Orofil and or Guterman or Mettler. A nice thread. Thre the right thread makes all the difference in the world to how your machine behaves. I promise you. And all of these upper level threads or, or better threads are cross wound. They're, they're like zigzag wound. And they need to come off the spool like this. So that's been my biggest hang up but i solved that problem with the spool holder you can put this behind your machine and let the thread come up off of it before you thread it in your machine and you get the same thing the same reaction as if you had it on a horizontal spool so that problem was fixed with a small little accessory um there is no automatic needle threader on this um for you young people that probably won't be a problem but for me sometimes it takes a while to get the thread jabbed through that tiny little hole but aside from that and those are just minor things i really like this little machine for a starter machine it's you know it's done me i've made several projects on it a quilt even and it, it's worked really well for me now that's not saying that you might not get a lemon or you know you might have some glitches because that can happen and even with this machine when i bought it the accessories were missing but i called brother and i had the accessory set in my mailbox a day later so their customer service was awesome okay well let's move to the next one 
The next machine I have here is the Singer Simple 3337. I think there are several different models of the Singer Simple. Um, it retails at $120 to $124. Also got this one at Walmart. But I think they have them Amazon and whatever else. It does come in some different colors like aqua, whatever. Um, the accessory package with this was pretty interesting. It comes with something new called a So Easy Foot that's bigger and it has a lot of different guides to help you sew you know, uh, the appropriate distance from the edge of your fabric. So that was pretty cool. I really haven't played with it as much as I need to, but that was kind of cool. Then it's got uh, an all-purpose foot, a zipper foot, a buttonhole foot, and a button foot. This is a little bit lighter weight machine at 12.57 pounds, and it has 29 different stitches here. Has the All of these have the buttonhole. All of these have the same basic features. I'll give them that. So I'm not really pointing out the stuff that all of them do. Just the, just the things that make them different. I loved the way this one looked. It was so, I don't know, modern-ish. But it just, you know, I really liked it. The only thing I don't like about this one is it, it vibrates. Um, and that may just be this one machine, but mine vibrates and when I get through and we do the foot pedal test I'll, I'll show you what I mean but it does have a good bit of vibration to it okay all right let's move on okay the next machine in our lineup is the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 and I got this one at Hobby Lobby and uh, for 219 but I'm sure you know Amazon and whatever has their version of it. Um, good, solid, heavy machine, um, 17 pounds. It has, for the accessories, there were quite, there was a couple of uh, very interesting additions there. Number one, this does have the horizontal thread spool already, so you wouldn't have to use the cone to be able to use the thread that, that you like or the, the better threads. Um, it came with a walking foot, which is really nice if you do anything with a lot of different layers like quilting. It's, it just it pulls the top of the fabric through at the same rate as the feed dogs on the bottom pull it through, so, or, or a slippery fabric. Um, that was really cool. It has a non-stick foot, which is good for sewing like leather or vinyl, something that's a little bit stickier. Um, a clearance plate for like if you're going over, you use that if you're doing like a jean, blue jean seam or something where the, the seam is really thick. It's kind of a different little tool, but it is handy. All-purpose foot, zipper foot, button foot, and button hole foot. So, uh, all in all, you know, really heavy-duty machine. If you put a really strong needle in this, I think it will, you know, sew probably anything you'd want to sew through. There is some power behind this machine, I can tell you. And, you know, the brand Singer, you can't beat them. Let's look at the next one. And down here on the end, we have one more brother, the XM2701. This one was a bit pricier at $240. And when I was researching this, I've had this machine for a little while. When I was researching it, these are getting a little hard to find. And apparently there is a newer version of the machine, the GX37. I'm gonna have to get one and try it out. Um, and it retails for $145. So I'm not sure how the $145 one is a newer version of a $240 machine. But, you know, prices are so crazy now. Who knows? Um, it also has 37 stitches, whereas this one only has 27. So there's 10 more stitches, I guess. But anyway, this is the one I have. So this is the one I'm going to talk about. It had six feet, a button, a buttonhole, a zipper, a zigzag, and two very interesting ones, a narrow hem foot. Uh, some people call this a rolled hem foot. It's like 
the hem, the really tiny hem you might see on a nice uh, cloth napkin or whatever, it's just a very tiny rolled over hem. We use that a lot in heirloom sewing, like uh, making smock dresses and stuff. So that's a very nice foot to have. It was, and that wasn't in any of the other ones. It also has a blind stitch foot, um, which I'll have to, I'll have to do a video and show you how to use that. But it, it makes a different kind of a hem or it holds the fabric in place so that you can do a hem that's barely visible on the other side. It like folds it up and then just barely catches it. So it's kind of hard to describe. If you just Google blind stitch hem, I'm sure you'll see one. But this one comes with the foot. And now that may be one of the reasons the price was a little more on this because those are some nice feet. Um, 27 different stitches up here, some uh, really nice decorative stitches. It was uh, 15.8 pounds. Oh, and it comes with a twin needle as well. None of these other ones did that. A twin needle is two needles on one shaft, and you, you put them up in here, then you can run two different threads, um, one from here and then there's another spool somewhere. I haven't used that on here, you can tell. But anyway, you can make uh, like a double edged seam with a twin needle. So that was kind of cool. 15.8 pounds, so it is a little bit heavier. Uh, the GX37, the newer model, is two pounds lighter. Okay? Now, all of these machines are mechanical. There's no computerized bells and whistles, which I personally like because when you get one set just like you want it for a particular project and you turn it off, when you come back, that machine is still exactly like you set it. With a computerized machine, when you turn it off, usually they reset to the default stitch lengths and width and whatever, and you have to start it all over. Um, I'm not a computer genius either so I don't know but with that aside I have one more machine to share with you and I just got this machine so I have not done anything with it but let's uh, let me pull it up here and we'll look at it okay this is the brother CS 5055 and I think I had a cute little sign for it somewhere yes <laughs> the 5055 and I got it for $119. Now I have seen them for $179, but I bought this one off of Amazon and it's $119. I think it was a special deal, but anyway, I bid on it. Um, it is computerized. So, and none of this is touch screen right here. This is just a listing. It has all the stitches that come on here with a number and you use these buttons to scroll through to pick the stitch you want. And your stitch length, your stitch width, and whatever. Here's your reverse. Um, it has seven accessory feet, which is the zigzag, the buttonhole, the button, an overcast, a monogramming foot, a zipper foot, and a blind stitch foot. So, interesting feet like i said i have i just got this in so i've not played with it yet i just wanted to share it with you it does have 60 stitches and it weighs 13.9 pounds now i told you the weight on each one of these machines because you need to consider how you're going to use the machine i usually sew right here at my kitchen table that means when i get through i have to pick it up and put it away so i don't want a 30 pound machine that I have to lug around you know if somebody has a dedicated space where they're sewing then you know weight wouldn't matter but if your mother is you know 90 and she's sewing at the dining room table and she's gonna have to move it then you, you need to think about the weight okay um, I do like that you can have a needle down stop on this machine um, so what I don't like about this machine is the lag between when you press the pedal and the needle starts going. And that is not particular to this machine. That is just how computerized machines operate. And that's one thing I don't really care for about them. But this is what I mean. Like when you squeeze the pedal, 
there is, and see there's a little bit of a lag from when you let go of it to when it stops, but it's not much. And if you get, you know, if you get used to it, then you're good. And I'm really, you know, uh, so far I'm already pretty impressed with this machine, but here in just a little while, I'm going to get some thread out and uh, do a video on loading it all up and we'll see how it goes. But next, let's go through, I want you to listen to the noise level on each machine, okay? So I'm just going to press the pedal and be quiet for a minute. Okay, that was the computerized machine. So, let's move this one out of the way and get another one. Okay, we'll just work our way back down the line now. Here is the Brother XM2701. Okay, here comes the Singer Heavy Duty. It's a little bit loud, but it's a solid machine. You know, it is solid. Next, we have the Singer Simple. Did you see it walk? <laughs> That's what I mean about the vibration. I, I wanted so much to love this machine, which I really figure, you know, you could get a non-skid, uh, some sort of non-skid thing on the table, and maybe that wouldn't happen, but it does happen. And last but not least, Noise check on the Brother 3817. Let me put the foot down. See, not bad at all, and no, no walking. Um, for $76, I have just been so impressed with this little machine. You know, now the, the stitches are limited, and it didn't come with a ton of accessories, but you know, anything that the machine doesn't have that you don't like when you get it, you can, you can purchase that separately. If you go to the Brother website, you could outfit this machine probably with another $1,000 worth of accessories if you wanted to. So they're there, they work, and it's a lot of fun to play with. And at $76, you have a little more money to kind of, you know, buy some of those accessories with. So, which one is the best? Well, in my opinion, the best machine is the machine that you have. Um, whatever machine you have, you're going to need to work with it. It's not an automatic thing. Nobody sews like a professional right out of the box. So, get a machine you like, find something you like about it, and work with it. Don't give up on it because things happen. You may get a bad machine. It happens. But both of these companies, the Brother Company and the Singer Company, they have awesome customer service. I can tell you from years of experience, they will help you get it going. They will help you get whatever was left out. They will replace it if it's their fault. They stand behind their machines and they have for, you know, many, many years. So, so anywho, there's my two cents. And you can, you know, throw it out the window if you want to. But um, let me know what you think about these machines. Which one are you kind of leaning towards? That'll be interesting. And like I said, here in just a little while, I'm going to take that uh, computerized machine and go through the steps with it. And then I'm going to start working on all the different feet. I want to go through each one and show you how to use that button foot and the buttonhole foot. So I hope this helped y'all make a decision. Hit that subscribe button if you want to. Thanks. Bye.